Hey guys, welcome to another video. On this episode, we'll be talking about Apple's four to one stock split and whether or not you should be buying this stock at this time. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ramel, and on this channel, we talk about all things related to finance, investing, and building wealth. We discuss mindsets, strategies, techniques, and resources for you to implement in your journey to build wealth. If you haven't, please subscribe. We produce new content every week. All right, guys, so the big topic for today is whether or not you should be buying Apple stock. If you've been following the news and following all of the media, then one of the biggest things that came out is that Apple is going to do a four to one stock split. Now, what does this mean? And should you buy Apple now? Before we discuss whether or not you should buy Apple, we should discuss what a stock split is. A stock split is when a company takes one share and divides it equally into the number it says it's going to split. So for Apple, it's going to split into four. So if you have a stock valued at $800, then you're going to get four shares at $200 each. That's all good and well, but what does this mean? Has this happened before? Actually, if you look on Apple's website, they list in their investors relations section, and I'll leave a link to the website down below so you can see that as well. They said that this is Apple's fifth stock split. So yes, this has happened before. There's nothing to worry about. Uh, it doesn't happen that often, but you know, you should know that it has happened before. So it says here, this is Apple's fifth stock split since going public. Apple's common stock split on a two to four one basis on May 15th, 1987, June 21st, 2000, and February 18th, 2005. Its most recent stock split before this was for a seven for one basis on June 6, 2014. So yes, this has happened before. There's nothing for you to worry about. One thing to note is that when Apple does do the stock splits, there's no change in value of your stock. There may be change in price due to, you know, all the market uh, news and people either buying or selling their shares. But in terms of the actual stock, if nothing were to happen that day in terms of news and people buying or selling, you'd still have the same dollar amount. So the four to one stock split gives you a total value of still $800 or whatever value you have uh, your shares in stock. One of the most important dates to know is when this stock split will be effective. So there's two dates that you should know about. The first is called the record date and the second is called the split date. The record date is when the stock determines which shareholders are entitled to receive additional shares due to the split. So that's basically the cutoff date for you to buy Apple shares for you to be eligible in the stock splitting. And the second date you should know about is the split date. So this is when the shares are actually going to be split into four. So if you're looking to buy more shares of Apple and you want to take advantage of this stock split, then you should do so before August 24th, 2020. Full disclosure, I do have some Apple stock. Although it's not a, a big value, I do have some. If you look at my M1 Finance portfolio, one of my uh, holdings, Berkshire Hathaway, does actually have an Apple slice in it. To that point, it's actually the end of the month. So I'll be doing a monthly M1 finance recap in a, in a couple of days. So if that's something that you follow me for and you want to see how my stocks are doing, stick around, subscribe. I give you full access to my M1 finance account and I show you all the money I've invested in. I show you the stocks that I currently have. I show you how much market gain I've been seeing and also how many dividends I've been issued. With all this stock splitting, I guess one of the things you're wondering is whether or not this has any tax implications. As noted on Apple's website, there will be no taxable income as a result of the stock split for U.S. federal income tax purposes. As it says there, there are no current tax consequences for this stock split. Realistically speaking, there's going to be no change to the dollar value of your shares other than you seeing that you have four shares instead of one. So why do stock splits happen and should you really care? I mean, obviously there's gonna be no change to the dollar value of your shares. It's just gonna be more shares. Well, stock splits happen because it allows companies to make their shares more accessible to people. Before the whole advent of fractional share investing, you'd have to buy companies at their full share price. So if you wanted to invest in Apple, 
then you'd have to buy its whole share. I, can't, I believe now it's currently trading at around $400. So if you wanted to start investing in Apple, you need to shell out $400 to invest. However, now that fractional share investing is becoming widely popular and widely available, it's not that different. Historically, before fractional share investing, people could buy shares for, at a lower cost because the share price would be lower. Going back to the example, if you had a share of Apple at $400, then at the stock split time, it would be worth $100. This would allow people with less money to spend to actually start investing in Apple. So to that point, if you're a fractional share investor, and if you're just doing long-term passive investing, then this shouldn't really affect you. If you're just dollar costing Apple's share into your portfolio, then just keep doing what you're doing. Two things may or may not get affected by the stock split. One is the current number of investors buying into Apple's stock. Because the stock is splitting and becoming more accessible to people, people may see this as a positive indicator to buy more Apple shares. That coupled with the current earnings report that Apple came out with shows that Apple has been doing very well in their sales between last quarter and this quarter. If we take a look at one of the most recent reports from Apple, we see that there has been an increase in net sales across the board through all their products. There's been an increase in sales and there's been a decrease in liabilities. If you don't have access to the report, I'll leave a link in the description down below as well. Um, and if you haven't seen one of my other videos called Adam Finance, that's one of the best free investing softwares that I've seen to date, actually investing websites, that allows you to see all of the company's financials and relevant documents all in one place with a beautiful user interface. So look, I'm not affiliated by them. I just really think that it's really easy to use. And I like that they have all their documents in one place, very easy to access. So I guess the question is, if you're a passive investor or if you're just a regular investor that is just doing regular buy and selling of stocks, then you shouldn't really be worried because it doesn't really affect you. You're just going to be able to get shares at a lower price. Who it really affects are the people doing options trading. This isn't something that I do personally. However, with options trading, there is a minimum number of stocks that you have to buy or sell to actually make options work, and that's 100. So for those people that are doing options trading, this actually allows you to buy and sell your 100 shares of Apple at a lower cost. And so I guess to answer the question about who the four to one stock split affects the most, it's those options traders. Now for the big question, should you be buying Apple stock now, now that you know that the stock is splitting? And the answer to that is, it depends on what type of investor you are. If you're a passive investor that's doing dollar cost averaging, then yes, keep adding your shares. This isn't anything different. Uh, if you're doing options trading, then this could be a great time to get more shares of Apple so that you have more shares to work with once the stock splits. According to the news, generally when stock splits and companies see positive earnings reports, obviously, there's going to be more investors that are starting to buy more Apple shares. So for me, I'm a dollar cost averager. As you know, I'm a set and forget it type of guy. So I'm just going to keep putting money into my M1 finance account, which already has Apple shares in it. So the answer for me is yes, I'm going to keep buying Apple shares. All right, guys, that's what I had for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to buy more shares now that you know Apple is doing this four to one split? And does it really affect you? Are there things I'm not talking about that you think I should know about? And let me know your thoughts. Leave it in the, in the comments down below. I'd love to read all of those. And I actually reply and engage with all the comments I get on my video. So feel free to say hi. Let me know what your channel is about. I'll go take a look at it as well. Um, you know, if you haven't seen my videos or haven't seen anything, I love engagement and I love just getting involved in the YouTube community. So uh, yep, feel free to say hi. And if you're looking to connect with me on other social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, I'll leave links as always in the description down below. All right, guys, again, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. We're a new channel and we love the support and feedback that you guys give to us. And if you guys don't mind, please smash the like button to let the YouTube algorithm know that you would like the content we produce. All right, guys, that's a recap of Apple's four to one stock split. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.